What's happening everybody? Welcome to Screen Realm. My name's Guillermo and today I'm reviewing the sci-fi horror comedy that is Megan, a new chapter in the killer doll subgenre of horror. There's no demon or vengeful spirit inhabiting this particular doll. In fact, it's actually something perhaps just as, if not more, terrifying and more timely for our tech-saturated reality. We're talking about artificial intelligence. Megan tells the story of a robotics engineer, Gemma, played by Get Out's Alison Williams, who finds herself taking custody of her young niece, Katie, played by Violet McGraw, The Haunting of Hill House, following the death of her sister. For work, Gemma is a roboticist at Funky, a toy company that's had success with a series of robotic toys. But competitors are closing in and Funky needs a big new product to take to the market. Well, Gemma, whose work appears to be of higher priority than the orphan child now in her care, could be onto something with her latest development, a lifelike artificial doll named Megan, which stands for Model 3 Generative and Android, by the way. And because Gemma has never seen a sci-fi film, Megan is designed to be a learning machine, designed to care for and remain loyal to the child it's paired with. What could go wrong? It's another creepy doll tale from The Conjuring and Saw filmmaker James Wan, who dabbled with the subgenre with 2007 horror film Dead Silence and is a producer on The Conjuring Universe's Annabelle films. Wan came up with the story for this one alongside the film's screenwriter, Akela Cooper, who penned Wan's 2021 film Malignant and whose credits also also include Luke Cage and American Horror Story. At the helm is New Zealand filmmaker Gerard Johnstone, who broke out with 2014 horror comedy Housebound, and I suggest you check that one out. If you still haven't, it's quite good. Now, Wan did say that one of the reasons he chose Johnstone to direct is because he wanted the film to not only have the horror thriller elements, but to also have a comedic edge. And well, the film is definitely a dark comedy. In fact, it's much more comedic than I was expecting it to be. I'm not too sure the heavy marketing has done a good job in showcasing the film's comedic leanings, but hey, I can't imagine that the dips into humor could be a pleasant surprise for some. For me, the comedy was both a positive and a slight detriment. I did have some good laughs and I appreciated just how self-aware this film was, but I did find that the comedy took away from some of the grittiness and the dark thrills I feel that a film like this needs to deliver on. The film is billed as something of a horror sci-fi film, but if you're going into this primarily in the hope that you're going to be getting some decent horror and robo carnage, you may be a tad disappointed. While there's certainly some tension to be had as Megan's unsettling eyes study potential victims, and the few kills there are do make for some energetic sequences, the film's thriller slash horror elements are very familiar. From the setups to the slaughters, it's firmly within well-trodden formula. I would have liked a bit more creativity overall, particularly since the sci-fi element opens up an array of possibilities. So far it may sound like I didn't enjoy Megan, but even though I did find it to be a little too formulaic and ultimately quite predictable, I actually did have a decent time here. It's an entertaining, amusing popcorn film that moves along at a nice pace, and importantly, the titular character is great. Megan's chilling eyes are used to strong effect, portraying all manner of dark thoughts, or should I say processes, with just a stare or a slow movement. Created using a combination of physical performance from young New Zealand star Amy Donald, voice work from Jenna Davis, and digital enhancements by Weta FX, Megan is a believable creation, one that you can imagine being in people's houses any day now as tech continues to expand rapidly. Megan taps into our uncanny valley fears, as well as our fears of just what can unfold when AI approaches sentience. Cooper's screenplay does have some interesting points to make about the rise in technology, particularly with how artificial intelligence and reliance on technology can affect children and the role of a parent slash guardian. Megan's escalating threat is nicely drawn out and key to that is the doll's convincing relationship with young Kate. Violet McGraw puts in a strong performance as this poor little girl who's been handed a really, really, really bad hand in life. Alison Williams is also good as Gemma, although the character of Gemma remains unlikable for much too long in this film. I understand that they wanted to give her a growth path and perhaps some sort of redemption arc, but I found it really hard to side with her for much of this film. And then when Katie starts to act out, understandably so, I was left like, man, Megan could kill everybody here and I'd be okay with it. While I did find much of it fairly entertaining, I found that Megan simply plays within convention too strongly. Being able to predict much of the plot doesn't leave much room for surprise, 
and I found myself really hoping for an out of left field twist or even a surprise character kill just to throw some kind of spanner in the works. Nevertheless, what we're left with here is ultimately a light and still enjoyable horror comedy and a decent chapter in the annals of creepy doll cinema. Oh, and there's also a strong chance we'll get a sequel for this one and seeing as this film does feel like a bit of a plot establishing first chapter, I'm hoping we get one. I'm giving Megan three stars out of five. That's my review, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. What did you think of this film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Meh. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you still haven't. I'm gonna catch you next time.